In this Flash CS3 and ActionScript 3 lesson, I demonstrate how to create a dynamic image gallery, and I only made it have five images, and it has um, an area for the big picture to show up, and area for the thumbnails to be laid in, and uh, you can make as many as you want. You can have 20 thumbnails, place them all the way around this thing if you want. If you wanted to do that, that would be pretty cool if you had thumbnails going all the way around it in a square uh, or something like that. So you could have a whole bunch of images in there. Or if you're really creative, you can put this into a scroller itself or a, uh, a sliding menu to where you can have maybe 20 of these little thumbnails in there. And uh, the way I made it is every time you roll over a dynamic uh, thumbnail button, you can click them, but every time you roll over, there's a little white movie clip behind it that expands. And so it makes a nice cool effect when they go really fast with their mouse over it, or even if they go slow. And it lets them know which one they're, they have their mouse over. And when they click it, it loads it into the frame movie clip there. And this area here, this is a frame. It's called, I think in the file, it's called frame underscore MC. Uh, it's a movie clip that loads in the uh, dynamic images, the large versions, and the uh, the dynamic images for the thumbnails also load in from a separate folder, and this is what the folder system looks like. Uh, we have five images in there that are the larger pics, and they're 400 by 300, all of them uniform in size. And uh, then the thumbs, it's the same pictures, but they're smaller, they're 60 pixels by 45 pixels and so it loads the thumbs in dynamically and the large picks when the thumb gets clicked it loads them in dynamically and I also made it have uh, captions there's captions above it it says blue flower feel the flowers earth shine and New York City building and then there's a title up top so let's take a look inside of the let's see if there's anything I need to explain I told you all about that and for adding more within the code you'll see how you can add more pretty easily but let's look at scene one on the main timeline you'll see there's a layer here called whole gallery and if you click on what's on that layer it's one movie clip there and it's uh... the whole gallery it's the uh... every element on stage is inside that movie clip so we double click that movie clip and go inside of it and you'll see we have everything structured out on layers. We have the frame uh, background, and which is just a background cosmetics. Uh, this is the load words movie clip, and that's a movie clip that has. Uh, let's see if I can click it here. Well, once you once you download the FLA file, you'll see that. Uh, from developphp.com. Once you download the FLA file, you'll see what these movie clips are when you click on them. You have to lock this layer, and then you can click on that. You double click on it, and inside you'll see it has a little animation with the dots going back and forth. And it's like a, a little fake loader for uh, having, uh, giving your users an indication that there's a big image loading into this area. Okay, so what else do we have here to show you? Okay, each uh, thumb loader is sitting on top of the white movie clip here and you can make ten I made five just for example sake uh, but you can make this FLA bigger the uh, stage size of your SWF make it bigger and you can have ten, twenty, twenty-four, forty-eight, fifty however many you want put it in put the thumbnail menu inside of a scrolling menu if you understand action script pretty well you can do that um, but let's take a look at the code uh, and you'll be able to see when you look at the FLA file once you download it that uh, how all the layers are set up and what is on each layer you'll be able to see pretty easily so let's look at the action script 3 layer here on top now the first thing we do is I have uh, code comments set above each section above what they're doing here and the first one is pretty much setting up what the captions are for each of the five picks and then we uh, Actually, I'm not even going to read what's on top 
of each uh, section there because once you read what's on top of each section inside the FLA file uh, it'll explain what those lines are doing under that comment um, and if you have any questions you can just join up at the forum and ask your question and I'll let you know what the answer is or somebody else might get to it first and let you know what the answer is but uh, you'll notice in some of my functions here like the thumb over functions, the thumb out functions that I have the the line of code condensed usually you'd see the function something about like that but I didn't want to have too much vertical space here I wanted to condense it all so they're like that and you'll see what I did there and you can spread them out if you need to but there's really no need to and uh... yep you can add more just by uh... sometimes uh, a dynamic uh, image gallery is made through uh, XML and a simple loop that way you wouldn't have all this code in here but uh, since this is a simple demonstration for a, a more of a, a not so dynamic well all of the images are dynamic the thumbnails coming in are dynamic and the large pics but it's not an, a loop based uh, image gallery that way you have full control over the stage elements where they are these can be moved anywhere you like and they'll be fed dynamically through this code they'll get little thumbnails put in here and this will get large pics put in here and um, I think that's about everything um, yeah like I said the code comments above the code will show exactly what the code underneath it's going to do and uh, if you take the time to read all the comments above the code and say you want to have eight pictures in yours you're gonna to have to go ahead and read what each one of these do add a line for six seven and eight all through there and I lumped them all together so it would seem a little more organized uh, hopefully the way I set it up it would it will feel and seem more organized to you uh, but like I said if you're gonna do uh, a whole lot of images or it's a dynamic CMS system then you'll want to run an XML file to an XML loop to uh, to render these out or render them out through an array through a loop uh, but this is a good way to do it and have direct control over where they are on stage and still bring them in dynamically everything loads good and smoking fast so uh, we'll leave you with it you can download the FLA right under where the video is playing at develop PHP and we'll see you next lesson